Aries, welcome to Beauty Two Tarot, and this is a reading from 9th of July to 14th of July. So let's check what are the messages for you. Messages for Aries. The world. Seven of Fire. The Fool. And the chariot. Okay. Here we have the card of the chariot. Looks like that things are happening quite fast in your life, Aries, and you're not ready for it. Because here we have seven of fire. Somehow you feel like things in your life are falling out of balance, and you cannot handle all the things, you know, at once. Looks like there are a lot of things happening around you. Maybe there are things happening at workplace, in your love life, and um, you are feeling like that is too much to handle right now. But actually, these are good things. Here you see the card of the world. You are being granted your wishes. Maybe you asked for everything, and everything is already here. Okay, things are falling in line in love, in work. Although you might feel like that uh, you won't be able to handle all the things all together. Here I see you struggling for something. Looking like you have everything but you cannot believe it. Okay, the problem is that things are happening fast, things are happening for the good but you cannot believe it. It's like um, you have waited for so long, Amy. You have been waiting for this. And, um, you know, you almost lost your patience and now things are unfolding in a magical way and you cannot believe it. But, you know, the tower is telling you to trust. Here you see the card of the fool. It's telling you to take the leap of faith. Okay, whatever you see around you is actually true. Maybe you are unable to trust people. You have many options around you for love. There is someone who is interested in you possibly and you cannot trust them. Okay, and it is not only happening in the love, but uh, I must say that you feel the same in workplace um, and in every area of your life possibly. But here you need to be courageous. The fool is telling you to be courageous, to trust what is happening even if it seems like impossible. Things are not actually impossible. You have manifested this and uh, that's why things are there. You have opened the door to the world and now you have this abundance and happiness. So embrace it. No need to, um, you know, get afraid of anything. Like you are thinking a lot. Maybe, you know, in this week you will be overthinking like what to do, what not to, what will be the consequences of something if I choose to do this right now or something else but it's not time to think it's time to take action Aries okay this person is genuinely interested in you and with the card of the chariot this person cannot wait for you to say something for you to um, give them a hint that you are too interested and uh, this person wants to know how you feel about them this could be someone who has already shown their interest to you and possibly they are waiting for your response. So it's time to open up. Good things are waiting for you. However, this is a general reading. This is not going to resonate for all. And the energy could be reversed as well. Also, you can check your moon and rising sign. Let's go ahead and check some more messages for you.
the magician six of water Four of fire. And queen of water. Okay. Here you have four of fire. Someone is expecting commitment from you, Aries. This person is eager to feel secure in this connection this person is eager to be accepted they want to be with you they want this assurance that you will be with them forever they are looking for a commitment something like a promise or you can say a marriage proposal or you know in case this relationship is new for you they may be um, looking for acceptance among your friends and your families uh, so something is happening here but this person is desperate uh, to be known as your lover and then here you see the card of the chariot maybe this is what chariot is about okay you might feel pushed for something you might feel like this person is getting really eager and you're not yet ready and uh, here you have the card of the magician looks like a lot is going on in your mind Aries. you are doubtful about their intentions you are doubtful about their behavior you are not sure about them still not sure about them and here you see six of water maybe for many of you it's someone coming back from your past okay your six of water shows something that was there for a long time you might have had a long relationship with each other you have a long history and uh, this person was continuously missing you this person was con continuously uh, you know dwelling in the past they were looking deep down in those old days and um, they were realizing what they lost okay so maybe after a long time this person is back and um, nothing totally changed when you look at them you feel like that this person has transformed so so that it's kind of rebirth or you're meeting a new person and uh, that is hard to trust for you Aries of course it is something that is hard to trust but looks like that this person actually wants commitment from you and they are serious about it and then here you see Queen of Water what is Queen of Water this person knows that nothing can replace you nobody can be you okay this person knows that you are perfect you have everything that they are looking for you are charming you are confident you know how to handle the situation you have a lot of happiness in your life a lot of prosperity as well as i said that there are a lot of things happening in your life so this person knows that things are going to be great in the future and they want to be part of your future I'm not saying that they are here for some benefits or some advantages no not because of that only but I see that this person has feeling for you okay let's check an oracle message for you Mercury open communication get a weight off your chest speak up with love and be heard okay Aries as I said that this person is waiting for your response they are waiting for you to say something maybe you need to open up you need to speak up get a weight off your chest maybe you are thinking a lot as I said that you are overthinking you have things to share and if you share those things you know um, you will lose this weight of burden and then 
it's about love in the end. Speak up with love and be heard. No matter what happened between both of you, if you both choose to speak up with love, you both will be um, able to sort things out or understand each other. So this was the reading for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Till next video. Bye.